My name is Dr. Anthony Fauci. I am Kizmiki Akorvid. My name is Vivek Murthy. I'm the chief medical advisor on COVID-19 to President Joe Biden. I and my team helped to invent and develop the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm the United States Surgeon General. We are here to answer your questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Fauci. How do we know it is safe for forest vaccine people to not wear their masks indoor and outdoor? The decision that we don't have to wear masks when you're fully vaccinated is really based on an accumulation of scientific evidence over the past several weeks. The low level of infection in the community and the extraordinarily high effectiveness of the vaccine has brought us to the conclusion that it is now safe to put aside masks so long as you are vaccinated. Hi, Dr. Corbett. How can we be sure that the vaccine is safe when it was developed so quickly? The development of these vaccines happened so rapidly because there was so much science and understanding about how to make a coronavirus vaccine prior to this pandemic that it allowed for us to move very swiftly and also it allowed for this global network of collaboration that has helped to fuel the vaccine forward. Hello, Dr. Murthy. What should I say when someone tells me they don't want to get vaccinated? It's important to understand what you're putting into your body. And this is especially important because we know there's a lot of misinformation swirling around. These are rigorously studied vaccines. Doctors and nurses across the country are not only recommending them, but they're taking them themselves. Uh, we've struggled a lot over this past year, all of us have, and now we have a chance to get back on track. That's the vaccine. Hello, Dr. Fauci. I would like to know why weren't kids eligible for the vaccine before, and why are only 12 to 15 year olds eligible for the vaccine now? Children, as well as pregnant women, are particularly vulnerable because we want to make sure about safety before we give them the vaccine. We already know 12 to 15 is okay, but we're going to go 12 to 9 years old, 9 to 6, 6 to 2, and if that works well, we'll go six months to two years. And if all of those look well, then vaccine will be available to children of any age. I've been hearing a lot about variants spreading in other countries. Should we be concerned about them traveling here? We have a system for looking at those variants and understanding how well the vaccine might work against those variants by simply testing against those variants in the laboratory setting. All of those tests are showing very clearly that there will be some protection, most likely, to any of the variants that have so far popped up around the globe. Hey, Dr. Murthy, what are the side effects of the vaccine? There are short-term side effects, but they're mild. Some fatigue or low-grade temperatures or a body ache. After my second shot, I felt that way for about 12 to 18 hours. But the good news is those symptoms don't last long and they don't have any lasting side effects. But what you are left with is protection uh, against COVID-19. And that's why the vaccines are so important. If you want further information, please talk to your doctors. And if you want to find out where you can get vaccinated, go to vaccines.gov.